Welcome to Biggie Pat and a brief review of this new car, CDE 900. Um, it's it's sort of a your next step up from a cheap plug-in code reader. Um, does a bunch of stuff that it normally should do, but it has memory card slot. It has live data connections. It's a complete diagnostic function, apparently. Real-time data, other functions. We'll see what it does. Got a Ford Transit. Should plug into this, no issues. It has a little extra dongle for charging, maybe? Not sure, thanks for that. Or maybe software updates. It does have a nice cap to protect the plug, but I did notice that it kind of just falls out. I really like that idea protects the pins, um, but I don't like that it just falls, it, it just keeps falling out basically. I like the idea though, concept's good, uh, execution not so much. Let's get it out of the box, it's the first time I've had it out. Um, can you turn it on? Does it have a battery inside? Yeah it does, so it has a battery inside, that's interesting, um, for certain tests and stuff, so you could charge it up I guess, right here somewhere. Right, let's plug it in, see what it does. We don't normally need batteries on these uh, things, maybe you do on this one. They normally power themselves off the 12 volts in the vehicle, which it's now doing. Uh, so the bigger stuff, the tablets and that, often need charge. Um, maybe this one does as well, I will find out when it loads. It's slow to load. It's a bit annoying. I mean, is it even going to load? Oh, there we go. Maybe that's why. Okay. Uh, it is a new generation of OB2 to code reader. Bigger with 1G. Fast, bigger, faster, stronger. Oh, hang on. We missed one. Please connect to Wi-Fi to update the latest software. Well, we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to skip that. We don't want to start. Just, just go. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's touchscreen. Oh, nice. Touchscreen. Like it. So, so let's see. Read codes. Let's see what it reads. I've obviously never had a play with this before. It's only on 2% battery. There we go. Current pending and pending, show straight away, that's great. I wonder if we tap on it, will it give us... Okay, so if you tap on it, it'll give you some data online, that's fine. Uh, free. I'd like to see freeze frame. So there we go, that's cool. So that's freeze frame on one of the codes. Doesn't tell me what code though, that's a bit annoying. Oh yeah, it does, down there. It did. There we go. So it tells us all the data and a bit more actually, which caused, and we go, exact speed, pressure at the manifold, EGR, everything. Very useful. Nice and clear screen. I'm really liking this clear screen, I've got to admit. Uh, what other, let's just see what other diagnostic stuff it can do. Onboard something. Let's see what it can do. No, okay. All right, well, yeah. And you can expand it. Now, the people that sent me this, thank you very much. You can expand it to do ECM, SRS, TCM, and ABS. You just have to pay a little extra bonus. I think it's a few extra dollars, basically $30, 20 quid, something like that. And it allows you to do those other functions. Uh, cheaper ones, uh, for instance, I've got a little cheap code reader here. So I've also done a review on. They won't do that, but this will. So that's cool. I like that. Um, you have to pay extra, which is a bit annoying because, you know, well, I've, I've got the device, but, you know, everyone's doing it these days. There we go. Live stream data. Uh, don't know why absolute throttle position's there, but we have got some things unplugged. But there we go. If I press the throttle pedal, there we go. You can see stuff working. Cool. Okay. Very nice. Can we see graphs of this stuff? Yes, cool. Now I like that. Okay. That's really useful in diagnostics, not just to see a live data as a digital readout, 
but you could now drive the vehicle uh, and get a bit of data to compare. Now it doesn't look like you could see more than one graph on top of each other, but that's okay, it's not too bad. And then you can save the samples and, and you can do diagnostics from that. Very useful bit of uh, kit that. I quite like it, quite impressed. I'll put a link down the bottom of where I sent this from. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's go and try this on an older vehicle, see how it copes with that, see what information we can gather. CDE 900, bigger, faster, stronger. I don't know what it's bigger, faster and stronger than, but apparently it's bigger, faster and stronger. Uh, than me, maybe, possibly. Nice clear screen, that's very good. We've mentioned that already, but it is a nice clear screen. It does seem to take a while to boot up and um, does need a battery on board, but that's okay, that's it's not like uncommon. Let's see if this will connect, shall we? It can sense the voltage coming in. Uh, it would definitely, I would say it definitely wouldn't connect to ABS on an older vehicle like this, but in more modern stuff it would. Let's see if it will connect. Please wait, okay. Oh, wait, please wait. Okay, I'll wait. I mean, please wait, okay, that's what I would, I would normally do. But is you going to connect to an older vehicle? That's the question. Again, it says on the package, it says here, coverage wide, OBD2 protocol vehicles after 1996. There we go. So it, it hasn't connected. That is the issue with some of these uh, uh, cheaper, cheaper stuff. Doesn't necessarily need to be a brand name, but you will find the cheaper ones won't scan on the early vehicles. Um, even if they are OBD2 compliant, which this one definitely is, they might not always do that. I do, however, like this code reader, and if you've got newer vehicles, 2003 onwards is a sort of safe bet, um, then this is a good device. This is a good middle ground between your, your basic, you know, 20, 30 quid scanner, which gives you a little bit of information, but not great, to this, which gives you, you know, nice graphs, freeze frames, codes, live data. Um, it could do ABS and SRS and traction control as well if you upgraded on these. Uh, you know, and it's, it, it, feels, it feels like someone's made it to survive in a garage environment, which is always good. The cheaper ones you could sort of have in your pocket for too long and they die. Uh, but this, I like it, I have to admit. I've not been paid to like it, I've just been sent it to review. So thank you very much, new car, and your CDE 900, the bigger, faster, stronger, uh, what was it officially called? Cost-effective personal scanner, set your car as a professional doctor. You are a professional doctor if you get one of these. Thanks for watching, that's me, over and out.